Yo, it's your boy P. Camp and Boosie say, don't tell me how to raise my kids, man. I smoke in front of my kids, man. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you hear what Boosie said. Yeah, I smoke around my kids. You spray half spray around a girl. You smoke cigarettes and black and mild. Yes, I went out I was full of pills. Let me tell you what else. I ain't no shit. I was full of weed, pills, angel dust, all that. Two that came from the hospital, I had a blunt like girl. Right there. Yes, I do. I have people trying to tell what's going on. They turned out real nice. They're not in jail. Your son is jail. Tell me about my I'm telling you. So I'm saying, now we can't say nothing to you, Boosie. You just said something to D-Wade and Gabrielle Union and, and, and something to everybody else kids about what they're doing and this, that, and other. As you should have. We got to get to a point where we got we got to be able to call each other out on our bull, man. Like we and and I agree with you when you said what you said about D Wade and them. But you got to be able to take them words too, bro. Like I don't think the secondhand smokers doing your kids no favors. Plus, kids copy what they see, so you creating some young chimney smokers as we speak. And that may or not, I mean, whatever it's a rite of passage, but that may not end up to be good for their life if it goes further than that. Plus. Listen, I remember a time when you were like saying we need to check each other on this type of stuff where you was talking about getting your, your, your son and his nephew's head at 12, 13. That wasn't good parenting advice, bro. I've been introduced to some stuff when I was younger, but it ain't do me no favors. <laughs> it turned me into a monster. It ain't do me no favors. But I'm training them boys, right? Ask in them, my, 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 my nephew. Ask in them. Ask my son. Yeah. They were 12, 13. They got head. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. But yeah, I got my fucking son fixed up. He's fucking right. Yes, a grown woman. Grown, super grown. What if somebody would have did this with, if your baby mom would have did this with uh with your daughter, 12, 13 years old? You lost your mind. Now, it's a double standard there for sure with men and women, the difference. I understand that, but I still understand enough to say that this is wrong with men too, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go to D-Ray route. If, let's say... Somebody in your family had took your 12-year-old sons and nephews and took them somewhere and got them some head from a tranny or something. And considering how the D-Wade situation went, Boosie probably would have shot everybody he thought might have had something to do with this situation. Did you think about having something to do with this? I'm shooting you too. Get, just get on the floor. Y'all know Boosie go hard. Because you would be like, you have no right to introduce my son to that. That ain't what we doing in this house. Now you see what I'm saying? It's wrong on all levels, man. We got to admit, man, that, oh, that doing stuff like this to our kids, although we want to say it's macho, it really ain't doing nothing but setting them up for failure, man. Even though it came out to be false, his son, Tootie, was supposedly to be having a baby at like 17. That's what you setting your sons up for, to start that type of life. And that ain't good. I'm just saying. So going back to the smoking thing, it is still wrong. It's two left shoes, man. It, 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 live your life. Do what you're going to do in front of them. But this, it's the same thing as when we call these chicks out for twerking on poles in front of their daughters. It's the same thing, bro. It's ratchet. Why would you have your daughter on the pole talking about trying to make it into some type of women empowerment thing at, at three, four years old? It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not conducive to childhood. It's way too sexual for childhood. Give that child some room to breathe and grow into what they're supposed to grow into and, and, and make try to make these decisions in, in adulthood. Is this really um, attainable? It's hard these days. It's hard to keep all this stuff away from your kids. Especially when you're a parent, you want to come home to your house and relax and do what you want to do. It's hard to keep your kids out your business. But we got to try. We got to make an attempt. You understand what I'm saying? Because without the attempt... Now, now, it's an argument. It's the, well, well, should you shield your kids from everything? Because then you let them go. I seen Glorilla interview. She like, well, I was kind of shielded until I was 10. I ain't, you know, my mama had us in church, and I ain't know this, that, and the other. But then I got after I got out, she just broke out and went crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's still an argument whether it's, it's, it's even good to shield the kids like that. You know, but in this day and age, they're going to see something. They're not going to be able to be totally shielded. But let them gradually come into adulthood. You don't have to force it on them. And all I'm saying with the smoking, yeah, you could say it ain't doing no harm. They turned out good, but I don't know, man. <laughs> and I love Boosie, man. I love Boosie. And I love that he a good father or he, he trying to be a good father in his kids' life. He in his kids' lives. I can say that. But then you have stuff like this where it's like, 
surprised ain't nobody called people on him with his kids in that instance because I'm like the first thing I was thinking was why why would you get on <laughs> on this intro net and say this man like you know but I'm just telling you like kids copy okay like I'm gonna give you a, a story chick I used to go over her crib she had kids bunch of kids we chilling now when I went over there I never I never smoked even though at the time I was smoking black and mild. I never went in there and smoked, even though she smoked around her kids heavy. She smoked weed and cigarettes and this, that, and other around her kids heavy, right? And it was one really small one. He got a hold to the cigarette at one point. I, I guess a cigarette butt out the ashtray or something. It was still lit. And he was smoking. He came on the stairs smoking it. And she beat the, <laughs> beat the snot out of him, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm, I'm looking like Okay. Now you done did that and you think it's gonna do something, but I'm like, you I had to ask, like, you ever notice that I don't come in here smoking? Even though I smoke at this time. It's cause I'm like, well, I don't really want to smoke around the kids. Like, even though you do it, like, do you, man? But you see what they're gonna copy. They watching you do it all day. They wanna see what it I did this when I was little before. My mom and them used to be downstairs having the parties, going crazy. Everybody smoking, right? You know, they tell you go upstairs. Somebody, I guess, had went to the bathroom, took the ashtray up there, left the ashtray in the bathroom or something. And I went in there and tried to hit the boy. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I keep, I keep peeking downstairs, seeing all them do it. And, but I, I don't know. I was maybe five, six, seven, something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I hit that boy and coughed my whole lungs up. <laughs> try, then tried to go to sleep so I couldn't uh, <laughs> get caught in there coughing like that. You know what I'm saying? But kids are going to copy. Look look, look, look at where you put white folks in black neighborhoods, black folks in white neighborhoods. You're probably going to end up with Woe Vicky. No, okay? I ain't going to keep telling y'all I'm black. Black. B-L-A-C-K. Stop asking me what color I am. I just told y'all. You're going to end up with like the the flip side of that would made me feel good to put down an African American person because it helps them stay in their place. I'm a Caucasian because everything about me is different from an African American. You dig what I'm saying? Kids are gonna copy the environment they in. You take a black child, you put them in a in a white neighborhood, they're gonna take to white things and end up listening to different music, different, you know, talking different. Same thing with white kids in black neighborhood. They're gonna start talking different, they're gonna start, you know. It's just what it is. Kids going to copy what they see. And that's just how it is. So I believe we shouldn't be trying to push as much stuff as we can negative on our kids at an early age for no reason. Because it's going to set them on the path to get them started doing some stuff that may not be good for their lives. You put your child on the pole at three, four years old, it's probably not going to be a surprise when she's pregnant at 12. And for you to get all huffy and puffy, I had chicks in the comments, uh, that doesn't define what she's going to be, older. Shut up, okay? Shut up. No, it doesn't define what she's going to be from what she's listening to or what she told you put her on. But it's a good chance. If you feed a child pizza and McDonald's every day, it's a good chance they're going to be fat. And that's just common sense. You feed them broccoli and, and raw spinach and raw carrots every day, it's a good chance they're going to have some good health. So don't tell me it doesn't define what this is. Like, come on, miss me with that. You raise a child to be a gangster, it's a good chance they're going to turn out doing gangster stuff. And you can see the proof in that in Boosie's kids. But I, I, I guess at this point, he's proud of it because they many me's of him. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Sometimes I think we should, we should not mind wanting better for our kids. Boosie, the world loves you. We love how he is. You know what I'm saying? But I think at the same token, it wouldn't be nothing wrong with introducing your kids to something that could take them even a step farther than where you at right now. You know what I'm saying? That could teach them not be boosy going into a or a business deal or something like that. Or obviously boosy do some good business deals, but maybe you teach your son not to go into the business meeting smoking and cussing and thugging. That's all I'm saying. It just might be better. And I think Boosie will realize this as he gets older and matures. But, I mean, you can't make people do what you want them to do with their kids. And nor should any of us try to make each other, but we should be able to voice our opinion, just like Boosie voices his all the time. 
And Boosie, I'll be with you on a lot of stuff that you speak on, but I'm just saying, when, when you're wrong, you're wrong, bro. I'm going to call it out. It is what it is. It ain't nothing but love, but it's still, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? I, I would expect you to do the same for me. Boy, P. Kev, let me know what you think. Put something in the comments.